I should go find Valerie then. What? What's going on? Lindsay? Wait, I want you to meet someone. Here, this is Tessie the Quill, a book peddler. If not for her, I'd probably still be sitting in a radish patch in my hometown. Tessie, a plump young woman wearing heavily patched clothes, greets you with a broad, gap-toothed smile. Nice to meet you, your barony. Thanks for keeping an eye- keeping an eye- f Yup. Fucking words. Where are you from? Right now or in general? Came from Mivon right now. As for in general, well, I'm from everywhere and nowhere, was found under a bush, and I've traveled with the wind ever since. Ha ha! How did you meet Lindsay? Went through her village from time to time. Weren't many buyers. I was lucky to sell half a dozen calendars, yup, chandeliers each year. Maybe a couple cheap vulgar prints. Then a priest from the capital went to live there, and he got the young people interested in reading little by little. Some would ask for romance stories, some wanted heroic tales. Well, one day, this little tot came by and traded her father's belt, two bottles, and a hunk of bread for a two-volume collection of legends about the Ark Knights of Avestan. Came back later all tear-stained. Looked like her daddy didn't need the belt after all. So she sniffles at me and says, Take me with you. I can help. She looked at me like a lost puppy, so I took her along. Why not? And that's what got the ball rolling. What brought you here? A little bird told me about a proper city in the Stolen Lands now, one with a printing house, and with an old friend of mine sitting in that printing house at that. So I came by to see her, maybe buy her some books while I'm at it. Will you be staying? Me? Not really sure. Probably for a while, at least. The people here seem fine, they read, at least. Then again, there is a printing house here. And I get to catch up with Lindsay. I hadn't seen her for a few years. After I get tired of things here, I'll be on my way again. You travel around? Heard anything interesting about my neighbors? Tessie hides the money and smiles knowingly. Of course I do. What do you want to hear about? How are things in Bravoy? Bad. People in Restov are honing their swords. With the royal house gone, it's just a matter of time until there's some big uproar. Everyone knows it and no one wants it, but there doesn't seem to be any way to avoid it. Any news from Mivon? The usual. Schemes and duels. Seems a bunch of runaway bandits flooded in there from Bravoy. Rumor has it the great houses are intentionally straining Mivon so the Aldori won't the, so the Aldori there won't be able to help Ristov when the carnage begins. What's going on in Pitox? Under King Erevedi, what isn't? Parties, parades, executions, the king robs the trade houses they used to own the city. He brought some gang in from Numeria who's been selling deliriant potions. He sends strange expeditions into nearby lands, but no one knows what he's looking for. Nobody can tell what the kook's thinking. That's why he always wins. Has anyone asked about my lands? Now, don't you go taking for me taking me for a spy, all right? Honestly, go ahead and check with uh, with check me with magic or just ask Lindsay. I'm happy to hear and pass along rumors, but I don't go spying on purpose. My business is books. As for your question, well, of course they're interested. People in Restov want to know if they were right to wager on you, while Mivon and Patox are still trying to take the measure of their new neighbor. No one knows what to expect from you, so they're getting themselves ready for some surprises. Huh. Surprises are right, I'm chaotic good, meaning I'll do whatever the fuck I want. Well, I'll do what's in the best interest of my people. Chaotic neutral is the one that does whatever the fuck it wants. There's Valerie. Give Fredero's letter to Valerie. I received a letter from Sinnet. He says I'm free to, to I'm to free you from service and return you to Shalin. Valerie looks at you unblinking. You see her eyes darken with an anger she can barely contain. Really? May I take a look at this letter? Hmm. Is that so? I see. My apologies, Thorkin Ironbu. I pre I seem to have become the reason for this message and highly inappropriate demands it contains. I know this person. Fredero Sinnet is one of the mentors of the in the Order of the Eternal Rose, a true paladin of Shalin. One of those who insist they are right till the very end. He kept saying louder than anyone that Shalin herself predetermined my fate, even when I was packing my things before I left. 
Looks like he never came to terms with me leaving since he found me even here. But the nerve! The mistake of leaving our ranks, return to the path destined by her divine, destined her by the divine will. Since when does Fredero fancy himself the person or personal harbinger of his precious Shalin? Valerie, her face scarlet red, doesn't seem to notice the letter crumpling in her hand. Enough. We must put an end to this. If, if paladins of the Order of the Eternal Rose require another refusal, they shall get it. I'm going to the trading post with you to meet Fredero. I serve you. It's as simple as that. It's my decision and I'm not going to change it just because someone from my past thinks otherwise. I mean, you know, we could just ignore the letter, right? Uh, it's time to visit Oleg and Svetlana. They're not going to stop just because we're ignoring them. Honk. Hmm. Okay, well, uh, it's been a decent amount of time. So, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment with feedback, like if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Ancient here! Signing off.